Hey, what's up, everybody? Delio coming to you live again, representing DelioT2K.com, and I have a great tutorial, and I have a great piece of software that I stumbled upon that I'd love to share with you guys to help you with your video production or tutorials. It's definitely going to be a tool for mine that I'm going to use in future tutorials and remakes, and this piece of software is called VoiceMeter. Now, VoiceMeter is provides a solution to record ASIO directly from the computer internally to a recording source like or recording platform like OBS and or also any other thing. Now, the thing about this that I haven't seen other pieces of software do, like Soundfly works good, pretty good, and actually it's been so long since I used it, I forgot how it worked because I just it just didn't work the way I wanted it to. But this definitely does a great job. Now, it also provides a self-recording platform inside of it so if you want to record what you do in there you can definitely do that but what we're going to talk about is how to record what you're doing and to put it in a platform like OBS so I have studio one three running and I'm just going to give you a sample of what the audio sounds like directly now this is without having to go through a bunch of wires or external recorders everything's directly inside completely optimizing the workflow I just need somebody. and as you can see you're hearing the full audio range strong audio matched with my voice stereo feel and now I can give you guys the full sound quality that I want to do with my major making the magic box series so let's go ahead and open OBS up and let's kind of get down to how it works now in this platform right here OBS I have my microphone I'm using a Yeti microphone recording my voice directly and then I have another audio capture device set up and this audio capture device is set up to voice meter AIO. So let's go ahead and open up voice meter. Voice meter is where everything happens at. And as you can see, I have two virtual inputs, the voice meter AIO and the voice meter aux. So that's pretty much two separate channels right there. And in order to send it back into the computer, you do have to take your outputs and put them on the bus. So let's go ahead and show you that process right there. If I hit play, I just you can hear the audio. And if I take it off of that bus, you'll no longer hear it until I assign it back to that B1 bus and B2 buses. Those buses are virtual buses. And you also have the physical buses. And you can set and do internal routing here to three different audio devices. I think that's pretty cool. And um, definitely great for demonstration purposes because I definitely wanted to do a course on designing sounds for a massive and I wanted something that sounded good and I think I found it. Let's move forward. Now, the first thing you have to do with the software you wanna record is set up the audio device. As you can see, I'm in Studio One 3. I go into the audio setup and have all these options for audio interfaces and I'm going to set up the voice meter virtual device, uh, which is basically kind of virtual uh, device there. And you see the length is kind of high, but I don't think it will hurt for this demonstrational purpose right here. You go to voice meter and if you want to mess with the settings, you can. There's all kinds of settings inside of voice meter in case you want to change the latency and all of that good stuff. And you actually have different equalizers built in. So once I do that, we'll see that the software will output to this bus right here, this virtual bus here. I just need somebody. And as you can see, right here, we have signal right there. And so if I want to monitor it directly from my physical audio device, which right now is set to the Yeti microphone. If I don't want to hear it, I take it off the bus there, which is A1. If I don't want you guys to hear what I'm doing, I just take it off of bus two or bus one here, B1. It'll take it off of there. And if I want to mute the audio, I can mute everything right there and vice versa. So once you have that set up there, you got this talking and using voice meter as an audio device, as, as an audio device or as your audio device and it will send it through here and then you can monitor what's happening to whatever device you have hooked up to your computer via assigning it right here. And you have all these options there. So if you wanna go ASIO, if you wanna do anything you want, you pretty much have any options right there. So that's what's completely optimizing the workflow. And as you can see, I'm recording the audio directly into OBS, which is where everything's recording. I got two separate things. And if I wanna record desktop audio separately, I can do that as well. But for this situation right here, I'm just using it to give you direct feed from my microphone and from the voice meter output. So that's voice meter. It's a free download. It's donationware. I definitely advise you to donate something to them because this is definitely some good software. I plan on doing it myself. It's a great piece of software. It provides a great solution in the Windows atmosphere because as you know, this, this direct recording is a uh, 
quite optimized for that, even in this day and age. And I want to give a special shout out to St. Joe because he told me about how the 1820 from Studio uh, from Pisanis, not Studio, but from Pisanis, provides instant uh, or built-in audio loop back. So I don't have a device. Actually, I am using a M Audio Project Mix IO, and uh, you know it's my old faithful audio interface. And I'm using that to record this, and hopefully I can use this to provide better quality for remake videos and tutorials and also um, actual performances in the studio. This could be a great solution for that. So with that being said, I want to thank everybody for watching. Make sure you hit the comments and make sure you subscribe and share this video. For anyone who wants to record as your output from the music software directly back to the computer, without having to go externally from the computer. This is a great tool, and I'm definitely going to be using this uh, for a while. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. You're watching Dilio T2K on YouTube. I'm Dilio, and make sure to visit DilioT2K.com, and I'm out of here. Peace. I just oh. need somebody. This video is sponsored by Chemicals, a preset library for massive, including pads, leads, bass sounds, and more. Be sure to visit DilioT2K.com to hear it live, and pick up your copy today.